cow, that's a cow. This is a cow. doing? What is that? It's my massager. What are you doing? Uh -uh, try <laughs> you want to try that? You want to try it? <laughs> so it's called the Renfo, the eye massager. They have lots of other products like foot massagers, back massagers. But I got this one because of my headaches. I've been having like chronic headaches, especially like on my temples. Really simple to use and it has like this nice padding in here. It's actually really well made. Um, and so you just press to start it. And it says, please close your eyes. Relax and enjoy. And then you can kind of pick which settings you want. So like there's the music, vibration. And so then you can pick like just to have just heat where you can have vibration and heat, the air pressure and the heat. So there's like different settings. Just the heat really helps with me, but there are lots of different settings. What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. We have a fun one for you guys today. Dad. What? I want to be a cow. You want to be a cow? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Moo. He's going to be a cow too. Sure, I'll be a cow. Moo. That, that's not a cow, that's a cow. This is a cow. Oh, moo. <laughs> if you guys are normally here for our family content, please hang with us. Tootie and Henry are outside with us, but this is actually more of a homesteading vlog and it's about something that we recently built, which you actually may have just seen behind Henry and Henry's in right now. Say hi, Henry. Okay, this is the pallet shelter with the tarp over top that I talked about in the last vlog. So again, Darla is pregnant. She is due in like a month and a half maybe like five weeks or so, April 30th to be exact. So we built this to separate her and our other mini Jersey cow, Bonnie, but also be able to separate Darla from the calf at night for milking purposes, etc. So we have this fence in between their normal pasture and now this shelter here. I kind of want to go through step by step how we built this because it is very inexpensive. And to be honest, it, it doesn't look half bad, right? Henry, where's Tootie? You don't know. Well, let's go find her. Ye. Yee. Run. Run. Henry, what? is it hot or cold out here? Yeah. Is it cold? Yeah. Yeah. The wind is strong. The wind is strong. Yeah. yeah. We have had some warm weather recently and we thought spring was finally here. Now these next four days are supposed to be winter-esque, which is not great. Hey Henry, can you grab one of these T-posts for me? Yeah. Daddy, no, they're freezing. <laughs> no, they're freezing? You don't think you could carry one? See the heavy hair? Hair da da. Here. Here, hold your arms out. Hold your arms out, like straight out. Yep. Hold it right like that. How's that? Is it heavier? You good? Good. Yeah. You think you can carry that all the way back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll grab these two. Yeah. What? Okay. Uh, I want you to hold it. Okay. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be honest. At first, when we decided to build this pallet cow shelter. I was a bit skeptical 
on how sturdy it could be. Pallets, you know, aren't necessarily known for their aesthetics. So I wasn't really sure on those two things on if it would be functional for us and for our cows. But I gotta say, for how easy and simple and inexpensive that these materials and this process was, I am very, very happy and I believe that we are going to be using this method and this structure a bit more for more animals in the future. Henry's cold, he said he's going inside. We'll see about that. To preface this step by step, I would have loved to film the process because I feel like it would have added a lot of value to you guys or to somebody interested in building one of these. But we did it last night in the dark and I'm not sure a time lapse or filming anything like this in the dark would have been good. It is fully built, but I could still explain kind of how we did some things. So the cow pallet shelter, pallet tarp shelter. You know what I mean. First things first, supplies. Supplies for us consisted of stone, rubber mats, pallets, cattle panels and hog panel, a tarp, many, many zip ties, some screws, and T-posts. Seems like a bunch of random things, but it will make sense. We started off with a foundation of sorts, stone. Now this stone does have like bits of concrete in it. So when it packs down, it's almost like a solid surface. This is used for driveways a lot. And on top of this stone, we have matting. So this kind of outlined where we wanted the shelter to be. We started with lining up the pallets where we wanted them to be. We then moved them out of the way to hammer home the T-posts into the ground. Once those T-posts were in the ground, we picked the pallets up and fit them over top. And we did that for each pallet, nine pallets total. So we had the pallets set all the way across. So the next step was the cattle panels. So what we did was starting here, right here, we kind of bent the cattle panel inside of the pallets because the pallets at this point, they're on top of the T-post and screwed together. It is a pretty solid structure. What we did was bend the cattle panels inside of the pallets and then just shift this up off of the ground about two feet and we zip tied it to the pallets. And we did that for each one. Then once you have that secure, you zip tie them together. You zip tie them all the way around on the pallets. It is a very, very solid structure. I was actually very surprised that that was one thing I was worried about was how solid the structure would be. But I gotta admit, this thing is strong and it's actually windy right now, which is a good test for this. But again, cattle panel's done. Then you pull the tarp up over top um, and you pull it all the way back. And once you have it placed where you want it, you zip tie the outside because this has eyelets here. You zip tie that to the pallets and you pull it tight. You pull it tight all the way around and you make sure that it's as tight as it can possibly be because you don't want there to be like a parachuting effect because we don't want this thing to fly away, you know what I mean? As far as cost, these pallets we found on Facebook Marketplace from somebody in town, they were a dollar a piece, one dollar. We bought 20 because we want to use these pallets for other things on the property. But, so that's $9 and then the T-posts are $5 a piece. So that's 45 for the T-posts. The tarp itself was 50 to 75. The cattle panels were about 50 a piece. Now, not including the mats and the stones, uh, the shelter itself probably costed about 250 bucks, give or take, obviously. How long it took to actually build this, it only took us about two hours and it was me, Aiden, and Maxine, and in the dark, you know, two hours is not a whole lot of time to build this entire structure. Uh, so definitely 100% worth it. I would highly suggest it, but I would also recommend using those T-posts. I know some people don't use them. Um, I'm not sure why. If you know why, comment down below why you don't use the T-posts, because I really would like to know, because I feel like it adds so much more support, but super excited about it. But even more excited about your calf, Darla. Hi, Bonnie. How are ya? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, girl? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You're a good girl. You excited? You excited for the calf, girlie? You excited for the calf? You excited for the calf? 
I know. <gasps> Me too. What you doing, Mags? What you doing, Mags?